The Departure, part or episode six. Welcome back to our blind let's play of Alan Wake Remastered. I think we are getting very close to the end of the game, and hopefully, all of our questions will be answered. I did have a little read through the manuscript pages, so it looks like we're possibly going to be going back to the cabin. We need to finish that uh, last chapter. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're going to the bathroom then to find some painkillers. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully that'll help him. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. They worked fast. We're still getting the head bumps, though. The lights were like needles in my eyes. Oh, needed sunglasses. 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 So those, probably right there. There we go. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. <laughs> there was okay. a message waiting for me on the machine. Okay. Well, I'll listen to that in a minute. Just want to make sure there's nothing laying around here. Ooh, golden guns. I like those very much. Let's listen. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Probably. I think she's just got our best interests at heart. Probably not going out in the hallway. Nothing in here. I mean, we have been here before. At least there's no snowstorm brewing outside this time. I've been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. Okay. Do I need the uh, remote? Yeah, pick up the remote. Casey, it was all about his pain. 
No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Boy, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for a Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. There we go. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice. But suddenly I was angry. Mostly at myself. And oh, there she is. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Yeah, I don't think that worked out. <laughs> well, this is, what, two years ago? So, or what, yeah, it said two, right? So now we're back to present day. So, All right. The clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <laughs> Good luck, Al. We're going to try our best. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Or oh, okay. Well, at least I'm not driving <laughs> right now, which is a good thing. That'll get us there faster. Won't get me all dang discombobulated and turned around. Alone. Okay. In daylight. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. Mm. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Okay, well, it looks like I am going to be uh, driving there myself. Or at least part of it, right? Alright, well, here we go. For better, good or ill, right? Good or ill. At least it's daylight for a change. And as far as I know, they can't come out in the day. So, that is a good thing. Although, it does look like it's starting to get a little bit gloomy out. 
the crazy lady's not going to make it. Uh, although she was out in the daylight. Because the first time we, we met her was during the day when we first arrived in this town. Anything here? I'm just going to do a drive-by real quick. I guess uh, if I missed a car. Can I? Hold on. Let's bob out. I want to check the... Um, I want to check this little cabin over here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. See, we, we picked up batteries. Good thing I stopped. Don't know how many batteries I've got. It doesn't look like I have... Oh, no, I have my weapon. Okay. Good enough. But no flashlight. Comfortable beds, clean rooms. Huh? Nothing? Alright, let's get back in. Just a quick detour. Just wanted to grab... Whatever we could here. Luckily, it was something and not nothing, right? Alright. Back on the road again. I like it. What? Oh, the radio station. Oh, should I stop there? I probably should. Just to double check. See, this is why I don't like getting in and out of cars. Or driving the cars and stuff. Or riding horses. It's like I'm constantly in and out. On top of them. Looking for stuff. Not on top of them. But you know getting in and out of them. Looking for goodies. Manuscript pages or what have you. From each. Um, oh here we go. See hunting rifle. Yes. And this is why we explore. Anything over here. Before I go on. I don't think so, though, wait, which way do I want to go, whoa, what's back this way, cause, why can I come over here, is this just a, like a side area, it's kind of dark in here, should I be here, I feel like I've, oh look, Look at that. This was a secret room. Hmm. But no, no manuscript pages. I figured I would have found those. Oh, that's the flowers or leaves on the ground. I thought it was um, the yellow shiny stuff we saw at night. I guess we need to make our way back up to the car though. That was definitely just a detour. Let's not shoot the flare gun off in the daylight. It won't do me any good. Not a single lick of good, right? Oh, Alan. You need to, like, give up the coffee, dude. <laughs> and maybe the, the drinking. You are really out of breath. Though I guess I would have been too if I'd run up that hill like that. Right? The voice of Bright Falls. I do like that, uh, that commentator. The, the guy... The old guy that does the radio, the night radio shows. Yeah, we don't need this car again, right? <laughs> at least it doesn't blow up at the least little touch. That would really stink. Oh, geez. That's um, a blockage, isn't it? Well, who wrecked? I guess this is the end of our road. Or can I not go this way? Am I going the total wrong way? No. Checkpoint. Nope. Told you. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Well, yeah, you're in a dark area. Oh, jeez. Did we get it? I can't see a dang thing. I think I got it. Looks like we got a manuscript page up here, though. Yeah. What's the bird just sitting there for? Oh, we got another car conveniently waiting on us. That's awesome. How did it get nighttime so dang quick, though? I mean, we just literally walked through. Unless... Oh, I guess he turned it on. He turned on the daylight. So maybe it still technically is nighttime. It's a thought. Whoa. 
Dang, just wrecked cars everywhere. Parked cars, huh? What is up with that? Whoa, hi, people. Bye, people. <laughs> Not staying to run you over twice. I'm good with that. I'll see you. And you should be dead. Whoa. Uh, round. Need a detour. Oh, here's, um... The diner? Wait a minute. Can I get out? Oh yeah, there's things here. I like things. Things are good. Let's go grab this stuff. Surely there's like a manuscript page or something in there. There's probably something we need to push or touch or do. No, this is a uh, a motel. The motel we saw like a, an ad for, right? Can I go into the this room? Oh yeah, there we go. Cool. General formation, refundable 100 security deposit is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. We take all major credit card credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. and no music, no pets. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. If you're a senior or a vet, ask about our discount. Okie dokie. Whoa, let's not go that way. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Why would I want to go into room number two? Switch to the shotgun? Yes, please. I'll take it. I'll take it. How much do I have? I only have two bullets for it, though. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, no. Now what are we up to? Six. Eh. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. So there's room number two. Oh, jeez. That's Alice. Revolver ammo, though. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Hmm. Flashbangs. Okay, I got six of those bad boys. All right, anything else? else in here? I heard something outside. What the heck was that? I mean, he's got pictures of us. Looks like Alice. I'm not sure who that is. There's Barry. Some of these I can't see very well. No, okay! There's a lot of them here. In there. Okay, you're dead. Anyone else? Oh, yep, I'll see you. No, thank you. What else is here? Can I go into any of these other rooms? Room three is locked. Let me guess, the rest are all locked. More than likely. I guess we were just interested in room two. But there really wasn't anything in there for us either. I don't see anything back there. Alright. Well, I guess we need to figure out which way we're going then, don't we? There's a car there. I guess I can take that. Yeah. I say we get back in the car unless there's a manuscript page here somewhere. Though I'm not seeing one. Okay. Make sure our gun is reloaded, and then we are going to go bob in this car and drive on down the road. We'll just run over anything that gets in our way. Here we go. See if this one handles any better than the other one. Whoa! Not much. <laughs> Not much. Oh, jeez. Not sure which way I'm going here. That way looks bad. Maybe I'm going this way? No, that way looks bad locked off but I see something I think no it was just the barricade fair enough over here then oh no watch the rock watch the rock I'm just not getting out I'm just kind of looking around if I see something I'll bob out and go grab it but I'm not seeing anything so let's flip around 
I feel like I need to go down to this end. Anything? No. Oh, I hear something trying to come at me, though. Well, forget that. I'm going to the light. Yeah, I'm going to the light. Light is good. Forget you guys. Whoa. Okay, yep. Get out, get out. Can I bob over? Bob over. There we go. Ha ha. Something's going to bob me, though. I can feel it. Oh, it's throwing stuff at me again. Yeah, I'll take it. Whatever it is, I'll take it. I see things up there moving around. I don't like it. Here we go, though. There's a light, at least. Of some kind? No. Oh, I see you trying to do the thing. Nope, nope. I do not like those things at all. The poltergeisty things can... No. Thank you. I do not like the poltergeisty things at all. Oh, that's a light, though. It's a car light. I'll take it. It's probably going to go out, though. Nope. Told you. Yep, told you. Oh, good night. Oh, no, no, no. No, ow. Ouch, no. Okay, let's try that again. Hopefully, we have better results. Dang, these little poltergeisty things are very, uh... Oh, I wonder if I could use a flare on them. I guess I can try that. Let's try it. Oh, that was a flashbang. Well, that worked. It worked, but let's go flare. I think flare would be better in this situation. I don't think I've tried that before. What the hell? Yeah, seriously. There we go. Anything else? No, I think we're good. So we walk. Oh, come on, Alan. Alan. Oh, no. Alan. Oh, there we go. That was a weird glitch. Let's not do that again. Go away. Are we good? We good? No, we got things coming in. There we go. That's going to work. Oh, no. Insert a battery. Yo, do that. Uh, no, it didn't work, but it kind of worked. I don't know what that is. Go away. Okay. Whew. Yeah, these things here. Insert a battery. No. Where'd it go? I don't want it coming up behind me. I just want to get out of here in one piece. If I can, please don't. Don't know you're you're gonna do it. Yep. Okay. I think the flashbang actually works better in this situation, but I want to save those for large groups of enemies. No, that, that's a large enemy. That is a large enemy. That's a large enemy. Yeah. Ouch. Jump, Alan. Jump. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Okay, we did it. Holy heck. Get me out of here. Please let me get in the light. Just for a second. Oh, we have a car. Holy heck. Dang bridges. I will never go over a bridge again. <laughs> At least I wish I would never go over one again. They, This game has really given me a bad taste for bridges. Yeah, y'all go away. I don't even care. Go, go, go. There we go. Whoa, oh no. Oh no, I did bad things. I got stuck. Oh, I had a guy under my hood, that's why. Oh, that's probably not the way I need to do that. We probably need to go over this way, right? Down the side. Oh no, they have a car too now. Well, that's really bad for me. No, that's a tree, that's a tree. Oh, dang. Okay, well, that worked. Whoa, never mind. No. That did not work. Run, run. Holy bobs. What have I done? I should not be on foot with this guy out running around. Where'd it go? I don't know. I don't even care about manuscript pages at this point. 
or coffee thermoses or anything. I just want to get into the dang light. Please don't go out when I get in there. Whew. Okay. Oh, no. Get in. Get in. Are we good? Do I need to go out? Oh, he's trying to get in, isn't he? I think I need to go out and around, don't I? Yeah, I do. This way. Oh, uh, there's a oh, there's a light. Oh shoot! I am stuck. I am so stuck. Where is he? I have no clue. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. Whoa! What in the bobs? Everything is going wrong right now. There we go. I'll run him over. I don't care. I do not care whatsoever. I'd like to get that coffee thermos. I know I said I don't care about them, but I kind of do right now. I just keep running them over until they go away. Is that all of them? Because I'm not totally sure where I'm supposed to be going. So if we stop right here, if I get out, I run over here, I grab that, and we get back in the car, we get back in the car! Get back in the car and drive. Drive, Alan, drive. All right. This looks like a dead end there. Oh, and I can't go through that. So we flip back around. We go over this way. Oh, you guys go away. Just go away. Let's drive this way. This looks more promising. No, this is not the promising way. Oh, I see it. I think. Oh, I went. I got backwards. This is why I do not drive in video games, y'all. I really stink at it. Oh, I see where I need to go. Go away, people. Ow. Hold on. Let's just make a big turn. Right? Big turn. Whoa, that was the, too big of a turn. Ow. There you go. Oh, no, come on. No, get back in the car. Get back in the car. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Thank you. Now get back in that dang car. Oh, no. I broke the car. Never mind. We are not getting back in it. Anyways, let's run then. We're going to run this way until we find another car. I think that's all I can do. Yep. Did not mean to break the car. My bad. <laughs> wow. This world has really gone to pot, hadn't it? All I need now are some crazy birds running at me. Is this even the right way? I think. I think it is. Oh, there's a car over there. Hot diggity dogs. Yep, come on, Alan. You got this. Stagger over the finish line, buddy. Stagger over it. There we go. Oof, we didn't like that truck anyways. There we go. Now we're back in the driver's seat. This will make it go so much faster. Whoa. Yep, forget this nonsense. Get me off this bridge. Oh, there's a thing coming. There's a thing coming. Whoa. Oh, everything is coming right now. Whoa. No, don't do that. I got to get out again, don't I? I got to go through this mess. Can I drive through this? I don't know. No, definitely can't. Oh, what? What the heck? Oh, we got the oily stuff on the ground again. Okay. Take the flare gun. Yes. There we go. Is this like remnants of this Barbara chick? Is this like her little feet prints? Or something? Insert a battery. At least I... All I... All it does is, like, it hurts me if I step on it. But my problem is, is, does it bring people alive? That I don't want. Oh, you know what? Here. Have one of them! Whoa, I don't know how I missed him. Forget you. Is that all of them? Jeez. I'll be so glad when this nightmare is over. <laughs> yeah, please give me that. Oh, we get more br breadcrumbs. Great. 
Um, I see you. Okay, yeah, no, sir. Oh, sugar nipples. Yep, that happened. Uh, no, 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 do the thing, do the thing. Thank you. Do another thing. Do something. Reload. Thank you. There we go. Oh, jeez, no, sir. Ow. It's sort of battery. What the heck? Oh, no, 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 no. Do the dock, do the dock. Bob off. Holy bobs. No wonder they were throwing stuff at me. They expected me to use it all. If somebody else is going to bob out, aren't they? Oh, yep, told you, told you. No, no. No. Bob away. Uh, manuscript page. Well, we haven't seen one of them in a while. Give me the dang flare gun. Oh, I have a flare gun, don't I? I should have used it in that situation. Oh, okay, well, apparently we're driving again. Whew. Good gravy. This is a long dang trip to Cauldron Lake. I didn't remember it ever being this long. Time for a little breather, right? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting out that way. I think I need to go up the hill here. Yeah, over here. Larson's. Oh, come on. Alan, seriously, what is it with you in these narrow openings? You really have a serious problem with this. Are we good? Whoa. Oh. Oh. I saw that. Hold on. I saw that. It's got a nice little arrow. And I'm sure I could use all kinds of good stuff. The flare gun and flashbangs would be awesome. Do I have it? Oh, I do have it. But only two bullets for it. Oh, there it is. I was like, oh, please do not be there. Sue is... Ah, oh, no! Oh, no! Holy heck. I did not hear him coming at all. I'm sitting here thinking, you know... Is uh, Miss Winters, is, I think that was her name, is she the one who left all these goodies out during the daylight for us? Because that would be awesome if she did. If not, I honestly don't know who else it would have been. Not going there. Oh, this is going to be a big fight, isn't it? Oh, it's dark in there. There's all kinds of things. Uh, am I ready to go in there? I don't know. I had to get the gate open. Okay, I have to go in there. We've got to get that gate open, huh? All right, let's see if we can uh, see if we can find it. Wait a minute, what does that say? All visitors must see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing. Junk piles may shift. Oh no, are we going through a? A scrap yard. Oh, I hear them. I hear them. I hear them! There we go. I heard it. I heard it. Okay. Nope, I hear you too. No, thank you. You just stay right back out there. No, you are not stopping me from turning on any... Thing I need to turn on right now. Not gonna happen. No. Oh, thermos. I got excited. I thought it was ammo. Batteries. Batteries are a good thing. Hey, we're at 20. Awesome. 20 is always good. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, so before I touch anything, let's pick up flashbangs. Yes, please. In fact, let's equip the flashbangs. I like them a lot better than the flares, but the flares come in 
very handy. I can go out here. So that's like a shortcut down. Oh, wait. Let, oh, no, don't. Not that one. Let's uh, aim and... Oh, come on. There we go. Eesh. I have no idea how many of those I've actually hit versus how many I've missed. Alright, I suppose we are going to have to hit that button and make our way through the junkyard. But I think we will do that in the next episode. So thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Walk Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.